Hello, everyone. I want to uh, welcome you here to uh, Wolf's Gallery. Um, my name is Maxwell Wolf. We're really happy to have you here on this very special evening. Um, as you know, we have two renowned scholars here with us tonight from Great Britain. And also on my left, David Chesler, the great Glasgow collector, a uh, dear friend of the artist, and um, someone who brought Glasgow here in 1973 to Cleveland. Tonight we felt it would be appropriate to have such renowned scholars um, be introduced by another renowned scholar and dear friend of our family, Dr. Jennifer Niles. After 37 years and 14 books on Greek art, Jennifer has just retired and accepted the most prestigious position in her field. Dr. Niles has been appointed the first woman director of the American School in Athens and will sadly be leaving us tomorrow. <laughs> it, um, it, he simply called it figure. But I noticed immediately that this standing figure with his arms tied behind his back was Odysseus tied to the mast. Um, it's a wonderful uh, print, and it, it, I think it in some ways captures the, um, perhaps the ups and downs of, of uh, Glasgow's life, the, the, uh, you know, the siren calls and the being bound and not being able to express yourself the way you might want to. Um, and many of these reclining figures, of course, to me, come right off the pediments of the Parthenon. But I'm not going to talk about that because we have the two experts here, and they're going to tell us about these wonderful paintings and, I might add, sculptures. He is, in my mind, one of the really great draftsmen of the second half of the 20th century. Stanley didn't just collect anything. He had very specific things he wanted to collect. He collected manuscripts, he collected um, Gauguin woodcuts. But when it came to contemporary art, um, he was particularly interested in, I would think more than anything, two artists, Picasso and Glasgow. No one could, uh, I think, uh, beat him at talking about anything. He was, he, was, he was an elevated person, sort of, uh, in my mind, sort of royalty and uh, celebrity royalty, smart celebrity royalty. Not I think it's interesting you say that because in the interviews that I attended that Michael was conducting with friends but also collectors and other patrons, many people said exactly what you just said, that when he talked about art and it, when it came to his taste, it was on a very high level. Very high level. Mm -hmm. 